All right, so I'm gonna go through and review just a couple more conversion practice problems. So the first one tells me I have 5.6 gigaliters. So I'm gonna put my given 5.6 gigaliters. Okay, and I need to get out of what I'm wanting to get out of, which is gigaliters, so I'm gonna put that on bottom. And I need to put what I'm trying to get into up top, so I'm trying to get into liters. Okay, if you look at your table that was provided to you, it tells you that one gigaliter is 10 to the ninth liters. Okay, and so what that then tells me is I'm gonna take 5.6, I'm gonna multiply by 10 to the ninth, and that will give me my answer. So my final answer will be 5.6 times 10 to the ninth liters. Okay. 5.6 has two sig figs. 5.6 still has two sig figs. I included the correct units. Okay, so I can move on to the next problem. All right, here I'm given 4.5 times 10 to the negative eighth seconds. So I'm gonna write my given first. I'm going to put what I want to get out of on bottom, which would be seconds, so the seconds will cancel. And I want to put what I want to get into up top, so that is picoseconds. Again, look at your table, and it will tell you that one picosecond is 10 to the negative 12 seconds. Okay? So you can either plug this into your calculator, or you can say my answer will be 4.5 times 10, and now I need to figure out what power of 10 I'm going to have. So I'm taking 10 to the negative eighth, and I'm dividing it by 10 to the negative 12. So remember, when you're dividing by powers of 10, you need to take the exponents, and you actually need to subtract them. So now what I'm going to do is take negative 8 and subtract from it negative 12. So what that ends up having me do is add negative 8 and 12, which gives me 4. So this is going to be 4.5 times 10 to the fourth and my units are gonna be picoseconds. Okay, sig fig check, 4.5 has two sig figs, 4.5 still has two sig figs. I included my units properly, and I'm good to go. For number three, we need to be careful because now, instead of converting from a prefix to a base unit or from a base unit to a prefix, now both of my units have prefixes. And so what that tells me is I'm going to actually have a two-step problem. I'm going to first go from millimeters into meters because I know that relationship that's given to me. Then I'm going to go from meters into megameters. Okay, so let's actually do that. I write out my given 780 millimeters. Okay, I want to get out of millimeters, so I'm going to put it on bottom. Okay, and I want to get into meters first, but I don't want to stop there because I want to get out of meters because I want to get into megameters. Now you're going to use your table that's given to you, and what that tells me is one millimeter is 10 to the negative third meters, and one megameter is 10 to the sixth meters. Okay, so you can either plug this into your calculator, or you can say, all right, 780, if I were to put that into scientific notation, is the same thing as 7.8 times 10 to the second, because I moved my decimal place two places, one, two. I'm gonna multiply that by 10 to the negative third, and then I'm gonna divide that by 10 to the sixth. So what I'm doing, my answer, is going to be 7.8. Now I've got to figure out my power of 10. Well, if I have 10 to the second times 10 to the negative third divided by 10 to the sixth, when you're multiplying by powers of 10, you add their exponent. So that's going to be 2 plus negative 3. And then you're going to subtract from that 6 because you divide by 10 to the sixth. So that's going to be 2 minus 3, which is negative 1, minus 6, which is negative 7. So my answer here is going to be 7.8 times 10 to the negative 7th. Okay, and my units are megameters. Keep in mind, it is perfectly fine for you to use your calculator. I just like using my brain a little bit. Okay. 
Let's look at the next problem. Again, I give you two different units with prefixes, so I know this is going to be a two-step problem. So I've got hectometers and decimeters. So I'm going to start with my given, 1.2 times 10 to the 7th. My units are hectometers. Okay. I want to get out of hectometers. And remember, just like the previous problem, I'm going to go first from hectometers into my base unit, which is meters. Okay. Then from meters into decimeters. Okay. And this would be the exact same problem if I were in hectoseconds or hectoliters. It doesn't matter. That's my base unit. So I'm going to go first to meters. And then I'm going to get out of meters and into decimeters. Put in the relationships. I know that one hectometer is 10 to the second meters by looking at my table. And I know that one decimeter is 10 to the negative first meters. Okay? So my answer is going to be 1.2 times, now I've got to figure out what power of 10 I've got. So 10 to the seventh times 10 to the second divided by 10 to the negative first. So I multiply by powers of 10 first, so it's going to be 10 to the 7 plus 2. And then I need to subtract by negative 1 because I'm dividing by that power of 10. So that gives me 7 plus 2 plus 1 is 10. So my answer is going to be 1.2 times 10 to the 10th decimeters.